I was tasked with rotating each solitary mineral so that I may be able to better analyze its previously covered bottom and confiscate a cotyledon out of a composition belonging to another homo sapien if I simply must in order to find the particular individuals that I desire to locate. I get the first aforementioned part. I, Giaccio de la Squadra, completely understand. I suppose turning over the gravel to acquire important objects is completely natural. But what on earth does it mean to confiscate a cotyledon out of a composition belonging to another homo sapien? In what logical circumstance would a cotyledon be within the composition of another? God inveigh against this conundrum! What on earth does this signify? Why must there be a cotyledon within a composition? Do you think I lack the proper intelligence to understand this? Confound it all! May I catch your ear for one moment, gentlemen? You're aware of Paris, the capital of France, correct? It's occurred to me that, while the Americans pronounce it with the added S sound, the rest of the world has collectively decided to pronounce it silently. With certain exceptions, of course, but in the case of fine Venezia, most cultures seem to have taken a liking to the English pronunciation, using the relatively garbled Venice in its place. Perhaps prolific writers from a faded era are to blame. You can see it in the writings of Shakespeare and Mann, Merchant of Venice and Death in Venice, being the works I'm referring to specifically. Why on earth did Mann not title his work Death in Venezia? You simply must be joking! Out of cultural respect, he ought to have used the proper Italian word due to the story setting in Italy. I beg your pardon, gentlemen, but this makes me positively irritated. Those heartless bastards! You dear chap simply cannot comprehend it. <coughs> As a result of such frigid climates, the atmosphere is completely solid. Indeed, exactly like this. Given the condition that I were to place the oxygen into White Album itself and melt the aforementioned breeze, the wind reverts to its original state of matter. Perhaps if I were to obtain the ventilation, much akin to a windjammer who possesses a receptacle of zephyr amongst his own backside, I, Giaccio de la Squadra, have no necessity for a vent of respiration. I do wish that you possess the resoluteness for such a dire situation, my dear Guido Mista. <laughs> for this battle is not but ancient history! <laughs>